Hello, it's Debbie from decoratingwithdebbie.com. I'm going to do a centerpiece with you, and it's been a while, so I'm excited to see how this turns out. So, hoping you can see good, but here we go. So, I bought a uh, wooden plate here, and I got this at Hobby Lobby. And this is a, a piece of foam, and I had my husband cut it in half. And what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna glue it my glue didn't act like it wanted to come out there at first and it's kind of sizzling it might be a little too warm but anyway i am going to put this on my uh plate here and i might have to feels like it doesn't want to uh stick real good it may be hitting the indention along the bottom so i'm going to kind of go around this To use a cake plate to turn it, cake decorating plate. Okay, then after I do that, I'm going to take um, this moss, and I've had this for a while, so I'm not sure where I picked it up. I believe you can get it anywhere, even Walmart. And I'm going to um, just kind of put a, uh, some glue over here, over the foam and then I'm going to just kind of pull this apart and lay it over the top and oh my goodness you guys is this messy I almost probably could have laid the whole sheet out but then it looked like I laid the whole sheet out so we want a more natural look here. So I'm just gonna kind of spread it out. It doesn't act like it's sticking really well. So get another glue stick going here. As you can see, I'm just kind of breaking it apart and laying it on here. And I'm gonna shake some of this off because I want to also glue a little bit around the bottom here. I'm just kind of trying to make it slope a little bit there. Come around the corner. All right, can you see that? I think I'll come around the other side here in a little bit. So then I have a bunch of uh, tulips here. It comes in a bunch and I'm just going to uh, cut them apart. And my bunny is gonna be my center focus. So I'm gonna stick her here and I'm not gonna glue her down yet because I actually have a matching one and I'm gonna do um, two wreaths for my front door. And so I'm gonna put them in the wreath. So I gotta find another bunny. So she's not gonna get glued down. But then I'm just going to place um, the tulip behind there. I actually think I might like it to be a little bit taller. So I'm gonna see if I can find one that's a little, little taller. You can see I'm just cutting them with my needle nose here. And sorry, that's Pearl. Pearl thinks she's a guard dog. There we go. And then I'm gonna actually grab one that's just a single stem and cut it off and kind of tear it down a little bit. But this is kind of grounding my uh, bunny. All right, then next I'm gonna use uh, some pink. I'm gonna put the pink in here kind of beside the 
yellow. Some of my, I've already cut them apart and removed the leaves. And I even have some leaves by themselves, and I'll just stick those in here, add a little extra. Our uh, snow is actually melting here. We've had rain almost all day. So it makes us think that spring's on the way, but for Wisconsin, this is kind of early, so we can't get too excited. All right, so I, see how I kind of took this to the side, my bunnies here, and then I'm going to come in and put uh, some ferns. And the ferns actually came in a bunch like this, and I cut those off as well. I'm going to put some of that out in front here. side. It's amazing how those little dogs can be so noisy. I'm actually looking for a trainer because I am not a trainer. My, I do not do well with training my dogs. They have to go to dog school. All right, and then I need a few more yellow here. Cut a few couple off here and then let's see it really is this easy you guys I think I'll just add a one, one maybe one more like Greenery here. Let's sit here. I don't want it to have too many. All right. It's that easy. How do you like that? That's a that's a centerpiece. And for this one, like I said, I'm going to remove the this bunny because she's going to go in a, a wreath, and then I'll put another one, in, and then. Um, I'll use her for the set, but simple enough, isn't it? Hope your Easter season is off to a great start. It's going to be spring.